So I'm here in Oliveira Street, which is the oldest street in Los Angeles, founded in 1781 by Carlos III. Alvarez Street is in the oldest part of downtown Los Angeles and is part of the El Pueblo de Los Angeles Historic Monument. Many Latinos refer it to as La Placita Alvera. Circa 1911, it was described as Sonora Town. Los Angeles was founded in 1781 on a site southeast of Alvera Street near the Los Angeles River by a group of Spanish pobladores, or settlers consisting of 11 families, 44 men, women, and children, accompanied by a contingent of soldiers who had set out from nearby Mission San Gabriel Archangel to establish a secular pueblo along the banks of the Porconcula River at the Indian village of Yangyana. The initial settlement was dubbed El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Angeles. For a time after the Mexican-American War and the Gold Rush, the plaza remained the center of a diverse town. The central street of the plaza, Vine or Wine Street, was extended and had its name changed by City Council Ordinance in 1877 to Alvera Street to honor Augustine Alvera, the first Superior Court Judge of Los Angeles County and longtime Alvera Street resident. In the 1880s, Los Angeles began quick expansion through a massive influx of Anglo and European settlers who arrived via the railroad. The old plaza area became a forgotten remnant of the city's roots, and the remaining adobe and brick buildings within the plaza fell into disrepair as the civic center of the city shifted to present-day Temple and Main Streets. During the 1920s, the pace of Mexican immigration into the U.S. increased greatly. And California became the prime destination for Mexican immigrants, with Los Angeles receiving the largest number of any city in the Southwest. As a result of this dramatic demographic increase, a resurgence of Mexican culture occurred in Los Angeles. It was within this social and political climate that Christine Sterling began her public campaign to save the old Francisco Avila Adobe from demolition and build up Alvera Street as a center of Mexican romance and tourism. The Avila Adobe was built in 1818 by Francisco Avila and has the distinction of being the oldest standing residence in Los Angeles. It is located in the Paseo of Historical Alvera Street and is now part of the El Pueblo de Los Angeles Historic Monument, a Los Angeles State Historic Park. The Avila Adobe is open daily, and the great part about it is admission is free. So I'm here at the Avila Adobe, the uh, oldest home in all of Los Angeles. It was uh, built back in the 1700s. It was um, severely destroyed, actually, in the 1971 earthquake, but was rebuilt to its former glory. And I'm going to show you a little bit around the adobe at home. The adobe was always ready to receive friends, families, and travelers, including the famous trailblazer Jedediah Smith. Yes, he was a real person. Smith had led a group of trappers across the Mojave Desert to Southern California and was able to stay at the adobe for a few days during January 1827. These were the first U.S. citizens to reach California from the east via an overland route. Now on Alvera Street, there are plenty of restaurants and there are lots of different uh, Mexican items that you can buy. But one thing in particular that I found that I want to get is this. Puppets. I think I know exactly which one I'm going to get and why. While shopping at the Mexico shop at West 20 Alvera Street, I was looking specifically for a puppet, I ran into Albert Gribble and his wife. 
Albert was kind enough to sit down with me for an interview, which I will show a bit of here, but there is an extended interview to watch as well. But uh, as the 1930s came, she, uh, Mrs. Sterling and developing Alvera Street, wanted it to uh, reflect its history. So uh, since there was no more New Spain and it was Mexico, obviously all of the merchants that came were Mexico. She recruited a lot of them. My, she, when my grandfather was already an importer here at the time during the Depression, and he supplied a lot of things for the movies and, and all. He carried serapes and hats and all that. So she summoned my grandfather and he went and he met with her. And, he, and of course, he, she was well known and he knew her and they had a relationship prior to that. So then she asked, would you help me? This is the vision I have for over us. She said, I'll be happy to help you. Ozma was formed, the Alvaro Street Merchants Association, by Christine Sterling to defend the merchants. She knew that there would be political pressures put on by City Hall and what have you. Uh, this store here, a person recently came in and gave my wife a postcard showing Chap Charlie Chaplin in the front door when they were filming a comedy in 1930. And, wow. Uh, Anchors Away with Ray Bolger and Frank Sinatra and I'll think of the third person dancing on the uh, outside of the El Paseo and the indoor scenes were shot in La Golden Green. It was filmed here. So many Mexican movies were satisfied. And many American movies and series, they still film to this day up there. True Confessions with uh, Robert De Niro. Mm -hmm. well, uh, some scenes were filmed in the plaza. My daughter, myself, my nieces, all of us were in it in costume up there. And, you know, so that, that happens from time to time. We all get paid as extras, but we do it just because of tradition like the yeah. Christmas. So this ends my tour of Alvera Street. As you can see, there's lots of sights, sounds, tastes uh, that you can experience. It's uh, just a short walk from uh, City Hall. So come on down and enjoy the sights.